In this tutorial, we're going to look at how we can use ASCII codes to generate colors in the terminal window so our end users can have a better user experience when looking at the output that is generated from our code. So let's get underway. I'm using PyCharm from JetBrains, the education version of it, and also I have got Python 3.9 installed. So I'm just going to start a new project. I'm going to create a folder on my desktop called Code Snippets. And it's going to create a little virtual environment in there and we're using 3.9 I'm going to click on create now once the environment is generated I'm just going to right mouse click create new and a new Python file I'm just going to call this colors now you notice or ASCII colors now I'm in Australia so hence I'm used a U in colors but um, it's a good idea not to use a U but it won't matter too much in the naming conventions so use the word colors Press enter. So what we want to be able to do is actually print a color on screen. So this line of code, we're going to print, and we're going to output, and you notice the escape character, and then we're in x1b square bracket six, semicolon 30, semicolon 4 to m, end quote. So this will generate a code, and then it's going to output the word success, and then it's going to turn the font back to black again. So you don't exactly know what this color is at the moment, so let's just run it and have a look at our output. You can see that it's black writing with a green background in our output. So how can we see all the colors? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to create a little program to generate them all for us. So I'm just going to press enter a couple of times and go paste. So if you copy down this program, so x is equal to zero for rows, so it's going to generate a whole series of rows for us, and there's going to be 24 of them. It's going to use the variable colors, which is nothing. For columns, so there's going to be some columns and rows. So each row is going to have five elements in there, and that's going to go for 24 rows. So we'll end up with a 5 by 24 grid. And we're going to have a code that has a string of x, which starts at 0, plus column, which start at 1. And then it will inject that into the following thing. So it's going to have the colors, and it's going to output the colors. And it's going to show us the code, but the code is also going to be in the color itself, and with the print colors. So it generates the actual word, or the color code. You can see code in here, so it will generate that sort of command and then output the colors, add five to it, and go back through the loop. So in essence, it will go through the first time, go through this five times, then it output the colors, and then go back around again. So let's run our program now. There you go. So you can actually see all the outputs of our colors. So you can see bolded, standard, if you want a sort of a magenta color, if you want green, yellow, blue. So how do I use that in my program? Well, let's make a new program. I'm just gonna call this one colored print. So I'm just gonna go print, and then I'm just gonna put the word hello. Now I'm gonna copy this a couple of times and just press enter. When we run this program here, you can see we just got hello, 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 which isn't very exciting. But if we go back and run this program once more, so we're switching between the two projects. If I want the first hello to be magenta, I'm just gonna copy this. I'm gonna go back into the color print. I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit paste and then space. And then I'm gonna run the program again. Now you notice that it's gone magenta and that space is right there, hence the space here. So the break command ends at the M, and you can see the word hello, but because it's turned on here and hasn't been turned off, it'll keep going. So if I want to turn the color off, I need to go back, and run the ASCII code again, go back to the top, and you can see here's the basic font here. So I'm just gonna copy that one out. And then when I go back in my color print, I'll paste this at the end. Notice there's no space this time. Let's remove the space at the front. Right mouse click run. And you can see the first one's purple because I've turned it on, then I've turned it off. If I want a different formatting on the second one, once again, go back in, run this program. Look through the list of what you want. So say if I want the yellow, 
background with black writing, copy that. I can then pick any of them, put that in, and then remember to turn it off when I'm done. Run the program. And that's how you can add color to your work. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, give it a like and a thumbs up. Also have a look around my YouTube channel for other useful Python coding snippets.